Okay, so when you're going upstairs, you want some good range of motion with your hips, your knees, and your ankles. So hips, you want that hip flexion, just go about belly button level. With your knees, you want to just kind of bend about with 90 degrees. And then with your ankle, so dorsiflexion is pretty much bringing your toes up. So the opposite of that, like ballerina. So when I say ballerina, I mean going on your tippy toes. That will be plantar flexion. So again, hip flexion, knee flexion, dorsiflexion, going upstairs. So those are the range of motions and strengths. So hip flexion, your iliopsoas and your quads to help bring that leg up. Your knee flexors going to be your hamstrings and your gastrocnemius. So gastrocnemius is your calves, well, one half of them. And then for your dorsiflexors, so pretty much bringing your toes up to the sky, your ankles, you'll be working on your tibialis anterior, so shin bone muscle area. So we got the range of motions, got the muscles. Now for the myotomes, when you do the hip flexion, think of that as L2, knee flexion, L3, so L3 the knee because it rhymes. And then when you do dorsiflexion, so your toes are going away from the floor. So think of L4 away from the floor. Uh, L4 away from the floor. So did the range of motions. We did the strength, well, muscles to do. We did the myotomes. Now, when you're going upstairs, you're going to be doing 100% stability. The stabilization, if I could talk. So stabilization on one leg at a time. So when both feet are on the stairs, the weight is separated like 50-50. So 50%, 50%. But if I only have one leg on one stair and my other leg is off the stair, my supporting leg is doing 100%. So for example, right now, my left leg is doing 100% trying to keep my body up. Now my right is. So pretty much you want to strengthen the stabilizers, your glutes. So you're not leaning to whichever weak side. So strengthen your glutes, your hip abductors. So you're not, like I just said, going side to side. So keep a nice straight trunk. Have your body up nice and straight so you can breathe and talk just like I am now instead of like you curling your trunk forward and huffing and puffing. If you have your trunk going forward, so just an example like that, my ribs are closing up my lungs or at least like making less space. So it's going to be getting less oxygen in your body compared to being up nice and tall Expand your lungs, expand your ribs, get the oxygen, inhale. Ah, so you're getting a good amount of oxygen. You have good posture. I'm going to say we did the posture, we did the muscles, we did the myotomes, we did the range of motions, we did the stability, how we did one leg, two leg. Let's see what else for stairs. When you're going upstairs, we did the range of motion, we did the muscles, but we didn't really say why. So let's try to go over that now. So let's say I have tight, so that would be spastic plantar flexors, so tight calves. If I have tight calves and my foot is stuck, let me go on one stair, so it's just like that. So my foot is stuck in that plantar flexion motion, so I'll just pretty much fall forward or slip on the stairs because it can't clear the stair. So if my plantar flexors are tight, I'll just be like that. So tight plantar flexor. So you want to make sure you can clear the stair. So that's one reason you might see doing hip hike. You might even see, no, well, that would be more walking. So going upstairs, tight plantar flexors you'll see possibly excessive hip flexion. 
So just regular hip flexion. I'm not doing like 90 degrees. That's a pretty high. So I'm just doing, you know, maybe 60, 70. And if I have tight plantar flexion, so my toes are going to be hitting the ground and sliding, I'll have to actually bring my hip up. So bring my knees more higher to my stomach so I can clear that stair. So here would be an example. So if I can't clear the stair, I'll bring it so my hip comes up high enough so I can clear the stair. So tight plantar flexors and or also weak dorsiflexors because if my dorsiflexors, my tibialis anterior, so bringing my toes up away from the floor, if they are weak, they can't help me clear the stair. So I can't bring my toes up high enough. So I did the plantar flexors, spasticity, dorsiflexion. Um, try to have a nice upright body, not flexed over. I mm, think that would be it for going upstairs. If anything, leave a comment down below if I probably missed something, any advice helps but that will be just going upstairs